All right, guys. Holy cow, water all the way out here standing. We're out here at this uh, pond remodel project. The other day I was out here, took these trees all off the dam, some trees over here uh, I took out. Goal is today is to kind of start getting a shape here, get some of this topsoil pushed off. There's a flag there, kind of water level, general area. There's a flag right over here. Kind of wanting to back the water up into kind of this area a little bit. And you're not gonna be able to see it, but the, the dam's gonna have to come around. I think that tree's gonna have to come out of there. They kind of wanted to leave it, but it may have to go. But anyway, uh, over there on the hill, that's 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 our grade for our water level and it kind of worked its way we got a downhill here we're gonna have to bring that dam up uh in the neighborhood of probably four feet which actually is not a bad thing because if you remember i had lee dig these test holes and we had to go down quite a ways to get into any somewhat decent clay um, about five foot deep or so so I've got a lot of pushing to do lots of pushing um, I'm gonna kind of try to stage some of the topsoil different areas I'll probably take a lot of this and stage it back over there because I'll have to use it on the back side of the dam um, if we have any topsoil left he wants to kind of pile it and uh you know potentially use it to sell uh later on down the road but but anyway i'm thinking that just my preliminary shots uh we may not necessarily have to go down much deeper there because if we raise that dam up get our water level above the top of the dam that's going to be pretty deep that's going to be you know that'll be eight or eight or ten foot down in there time to get that mud out of there so i don't know we'll see we're just going to kind of play around here a little bit um we do have a hard pan here that i've got to be very very careful with and uh you know kind of try to get through it and get some clay packed in there really good so this is mainly going to be a kind of a play pond if you will uh, they may let cattle drink out of just a little bit of it, like maybe one corner or maybe over here on the back side. But their goal is to just use this for fishing and, and stuff like that, put a dock out on it. Like I said, fingers crossed it's going to hold. Um, you know, this part of the, this part of the, of the world, a pond is, you know, it's a 50-50 shot. And I explained that to them. Uh, I'm gonna do the absolute best I can But you just never know around here because you run into a bunch of rocks and You just try to get down and get down deep where the good clay is And get it get it pushed in the side to compact it in the side it clays deeper than I wanted It's still doable, but it's kind of pushing the limit and we kind of talked about that a little bit because we had to kind of adjust the, the uh, budget a little bit on that and I'm gonna do the best I can, but uh, but anyway, that dam's just nothing but what they pushed off the top here. So hopefully we can get to some decent clay, and I can do go in there and make a make a face cut and get some clay packed in there. There's no signs that the water was pushing through that dam, which is good. Uh, there's no signs that the water was pushing under the dam, which is good. So that soil, even though it's real brittle not much clay in there it may have some compactability to it as far as holding water and stuff so may not have to touch it we'll see uh i'm gonna try to get all this all these trees and everything pushed out of here and get them down there so they can i uh, can pile them with the excavator uh you know so we can, we can get them burned later so anyway had to uh change there i wanted to change the transmission filter in that when I first bought that machine, there's no telling how long it had been since the transmission oil was changed and the filter. 
and so I've changed the oil twice in the transmission like 35 gallons I've done it twice since I've had the machine and I've changed the filter several times hoping to kind of clean that system out a little bit no chunks or anything in this last filter I pulled out of course I didn't pull it open but nothing obvious in there which is good so maybe the transmission will be you know gonna be all right but all right come on quit yapping and let's get going here
Alrighty guys, well, kind of like Forrest Gump said, life, life is like a box of chocolate. chocolate. Well, it's been that way for sure. You just never know what you're going to get. You can see all the dirt, the mud, that I pushed out of this sucker. The ground's falling apart over here. So I can't even push right here in front of us. The ground's soft. I'm going to have to use the excavator to dig it out because I, I can't even push out right there because there's water seeping up through the ground. So it's just small bush. So I'm going to take this down in here and this sucker is deeper, a lot deeper than I thought. Of. So I'm going to take this down in here and scoop and throw it over here to my left so I can this has got that pond clay below the slime level but I so that way I can push straight up and already splattered on my chin and that way I can push straight up and uh
Alrighty guys, I don't know if you can see me or not. It's sun's down. It's got the D6 out. I thought I was going to get all this cleaned out today, but the mud was... Oh, some places it was every bit of five foot, if not more. And uh, down here on this deep end. And it was a long push. And that mud was really sticky and heavy. Now you probably can't see it, but there's a huge amount of mud there. Also, this ground started pumping. And I'm trying to push, and it's pumping, and I'm sinking. And, uh, I mean, see, like right over here, water coming in some of my tracks. See there? Driving across there, and there's water coming in. So the ground is saturated. Again, we had an inch and a half yesterday, but hope you can see. Not looking so good for the home team, but. I got all of the mud out. The remainder I got just staged up here. I do have it cut over there because that's the main inflow to this fills this pond. So I cut that out and shoved that up real quick. We are supposed to get a substantial amount of rain uh, the way they're talking tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, at least I got the majority of this out and uh, again i've cut that over there so when it comes in it'll hit that berm and go in hopefully it won't bring a whole lot in with it but uh i couldn't take this mud and just stick it over the dam because i have to raise the dam so that means i have to widen it so anyway i had to take and shove it up here pile it all up here and then shove it over this way so anyway just taking this dam out here has opened this pond up considerably it looks twice as big as what it was but but anyway all right i'm gonna call it and go home and probably won't be back tomorrow the way it's sounding so probably the next day so anyway guys uh not much in the way of uh of filming today but uh i didn't you know didn't want to bore you with just pushing mud so anyway once i get to start you know to start shaping this thing up then i'll concentrate a little bit more on on trying to get some uh, more footage for you but anyway today was just kind of it was just kind of redundant and just you know getting the mud out and and uh you know trying to get it ready but i probably have another half probably a half a day to finish getting the mud and everything out and getting it staged where i need it to and then get my my area here cleaned up and get as much mud off of this area here as I can because I've got to start stripping the topsoil off and uh, I'm probably going to have to have him move that fence because I need to stage that topsoil up there unfortunately and uh, I done my preliminary shots with the laser kind of got some marks but I doubt we'll be able to go as big as as big as kind of have I, you know, have it laid out. I, I doubt we'll be able to go that big. It's just, uh, you know, we got a budget and, and I'm going to try to stick to that budget. But we'll see. We're going to get her as big as we can and, uh, and kind of go from there. Anyway, guys, as always, I appreciate you. And uh, see you on the next video.